हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर वेलकम इन माय चैनल हैप्पी लाइफस्टाइल इजी टू गेट सक्सेस ओनली फॉलो बेसिक्स इन आवर चैनल वी डिस्कस द प्रिपरेशन फॉर यूपीएससी एग्जाम स्पेशली फॉर द क्वेश्चन अराइज बाय स्टूडेंट फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग वीडियो इन इंग्लिश हिंदी और गुजराती लैंग्वेज वट एवर लैंग्वेज यू प्रीफर यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियो अवेलेबल इन प्ले लिस्ट एंड टूडे वी डिस्कस द यूपीएससी प्रिलिम एग्जाम स्ट्रेटर्जी विच आई एम कॉलिंग द थ्री राउंड स्ट्रेटर्जी for student who is applying for upsc 2020 this very useful strategy i am not saying this is the correct strategy for upsc prelims but most of toppers prefer this because this is time saving and also applicable strategy which helps lot i am mainly suggest so your strategy is the best strategy if you don't have strategy then follow my strategy and i am saying the topper strategy so friend you are new then subscribe my channel for getting regular updates for preparation for upsc 2020 let's see ek upsc exam pattern and link available in top of the video you can see first there and then comes to watch this upsc prelim exam strategy In this video, we discuss the strategy for UPSC prelims. How many questions you have to attempt? How much time you can take for tick the question? And at last, I am suggesting you for how to prepare for UPSC prelim exam. Yes, my dear friend, I am discussing the strategy for UPSC 2020. This is called the three round strategy. In three round strategy, what you have to do? You have to follow the three easy steps. so i am calling three round step in first whenever you getting your gs paper paper 1 you read the question you read question and you read answer you getting the confirm answer this is the right answer for this question and you tick tick mark circle in your answer sheet this is called the type a question i am saying friends if you are beginner you are applying for first time upsc then you having the around 40 questions for that type type a type in which you having the confirm answer for question you tick mark first in the second round what you have to do you reading question and you having the idea only for two option it means if you having idea you know the correct answer for this two or two or you definitely confirm this two is the not answer so you eliminate two option in the remaining two option you having the dilemma or confusion in two option so that is called the type b question type b question in which you have to do you have to do first of all mark the question as a b in a first reading whenever you finding for type a question okay which question answer you having definitely confirm answer then you can mark as a a and answer tick in your answer sheet and in which question you having the idea for two or two option whether two is correct or whether two is not correct you can eliminate only two option then mark as a type b question in this you have to mark as a type b in second round you choose the dead type b question and you have to apply your smart guessing which you practice in your mock preparation and mock test which is you given in upcoming time or in current time so you getting the right answer it the chance calling 50 50 whether you are right or whether you are wrong that that is the risk factor and uh, in third round whenever you doing the first reading in th third round you having the idea for one option only i am saying uh, in four option you eliminate only one option so remaining three three option is remaining right answer is in three okay friend so this calling is the 75 25 ratio in this you have applied to smart guessing this is round 3 this type c is a very difficult difficult i am saying for this is the difficulty ratio is 75 25 if you are true then then okay but the chance of wrong tick is more so in this whatever you want to do you have to do the applying your theoretical knowledge as well as your smart guessing as well as your, your logical but which subject question it is but you have to apply your own knowledge and and remaining remaining we are discussing remaining is the 
type 4 question and I am calling the type 0 question. In this way you having the question in which you don't eliminate any option. It means you have no idea for question, you having the no any hint or I am saying any information about this question, this question is uh, coming from current affair or whatever place but you don't having any idea. So in type for in four round type zero question, you, I am specially suggest you don't attempt this type of question and especially friends, I am saying if your smart guessing is very good, very very good, then you choose that question for your attempt. So this is all strategy for three round strategy in which first round you have to tick the correct option that called type A in second round you have to choose the question for type B in which you eliminate two options in third round you can choose the question type C in which you eliminate one option in remaining you I am suggesting you avoid this question now we discuss the how many question you have to attempt so friends there are no standard question available for this question you attempt and you qualify or you are correct the UPS exam but uh, you mainly having the one idea if paper is easy, easy to moderate you have to tick the answer that is 85 to 90 if paper is moderate to hard then you have to tick 80 to 85 question and I am giving break wise also so friend you understand for type A question you have to find 40 to 45 question in type B you find 30 to 35 question based on knowledge in type C you find 10 or 15 question and in type 0 you find 10 to 15 question this is the all break of 100 question asking by UPSC exam and uh, the break wise whatever your strength and which type of you are student that is based on your preparation and your qualification and especially for your confidence and smart guessing is affected choosing the question and I am saying time time break so friend I am suggesting you for type A question you have to choose the 40 to 45 minute and for type B you have to choose the 30 minute or I am saying 30 to 32 minute and for type C you having taking for 15 to 20 minute and remaining time if you are want to choose the type 0 question then it depends on you complete all instruction and tick mark your answer whatever you select so friends I am trying to making the all clear confusion for the UPSC prelims exam but if you have the any question then you comment in I am answering your comment and in next video we are discussing for syllabus and previous papers okay, what should have to follow for previous year paper and how to crack UPSC prelims in first attempt. So stay tuned with your preparation. Thank you for watching video. Jai Hind.